go ahead and talk about backpacking food today. There's so many choices. What tastes good? What's not worth buying? What about snacks? What's good, Will? What do you like? What do you don't like? Okay, let's dive in and talk about it right now. Let's start this video out with what I really didn't care for. There's only two brands I didn't care for. We're not going to spend a lot of time talking about it because I honestly just don't like them. Uh, so far, I've had three complete fails with Backpackers Pantry. They even screwed up mac and cheese. So how do you, how do you fuck up mac and cheese? I don't know, but Backpackers Pantry figured it out. Um, so do not like Backpackers Pantry. This has been a huge miss for me. Uh, the other brand that I absolutely don't like is Alpine Air. If you've ever watched Adventure Archives, they've also hated that and it just tastes like nasty chemicals. So those are the only two that I don't like. Now that we've gotten that out of, out of the way, let's go ahead and find the good stuff. All right, guys, in preparation for a big, huge two-week trip that I got coming out, let's look at some of the backpacking choices that I'm going to be taking on this trip. Now, let's just start with what people think is the best taste. And it was a close, close first and second place between Wild Zora and Packet Gourmet. But Packet Gourmet took the number one spot for me on taste. Now, Packet Gourmet and Wild Zora both are kind of on that higher end scale of food. So I kind of expected these to be better tasting. The Packet Gourmet also doesn't last nearly as long. So if you're buying these for long term, you might not want to choose these. Compared to Mountain House, where look at this, holy fucking shit, 2048. I should save this till 2047 and eat it. Wouldn't that be funny? I'm eating 50 year old MREs or something. Not 50, but I can't do fucking math. Anyways, Packet Gourmet, I think, would be probably the best choice for taste. They also have a variety of really awesome different kinds of meals, and they have, in my opinion, some of the better desserts. Look at this Lemon Meyer cheesecake ostentatious tortilla soup. This stuff tastes like real food too. So really like the Packet Gourmet. Now that being said, Packet Gourmet is also not going to be the most healthy. They have one of those big, really long ingredients list, but they're not crazy on sugar and stuff like that. And it's just high quality, delicious food. Now the second place, almost just as good on taste would be the Wild Zora. Now Wild Zora, in my opinion, had probably some of the better breakfasts. I just love these breakfasts. Really good protein, all the health, no added sugar and all that kind of stuff. It's just really good food. And look at those ingredients. Look at those ingredients, man. Crazy short ingredients list. And uh, as you can see, these have green onions and stuff. So they kind of like lost me a little bit on the onions. But some, if you like onions, uh, definitely that would be a fantastic choice for you. The Wild Zora meals, really good. Uh, but again, preferred the, the breakfasts. Now, the other two that I thought were kind of equal in taste was going to be the Peak Refill and the Trail Topias. Had a hard time deciding which one of those that I liked better. Uh, Trail Topia, both of these have a lot of different flavors. The one thing that really stuck out to me, and be really skeptical, skeptical about anybody that's talking all kinds of great things about Peak Refill. Uh, Peak Refill is great, but it's some of the most unhealthy stuff that I've seen so far. Let, let's take this sweet pork and rice. Now, I know it's a sweet pork and rice, so I expect there to be high sugar in it. But looking at some of their other meals, they have a lot of sugar in this. Look at how much sugar is in this bad boy. Holy fucking shit. 117 grams of sugar in this. In this meal. This is a dinner. And you compare that to like, let's say, Packet Gourmet's Lemon Meyer Cheesecake. This is a dessert. You know, it's fucking cheesecake, right? And you get one serving, 82 grams of sugar. So, and, that, and that's a dessert. That's a dessert. So I... Uh, it's just kind of crazy that this is that high in sugar. And then when you compare, let's, let's say this strawberry granola. Now these were sent to me by a friend as well. Um, and I want to thank him as well for those. They are delicious. But again, if you're like looking to maybe avoid sugar, these are not going to be the best. Like 45 grams. Look at that. It's like having a glass of Coke. Big old can of Coke with your breakfast. So they are delicious. Do not get me wrong. They're delicious and they're definitely affordable. But yeah, they're full of preservatives and they're full of sugar, and I think they've even got, yep, big old fat, healthy amount of cholesterol. Uh, another one I really liked was these organic grass-fed beef vegetable soups. 100% grass beef, it tastes like real delicious, amazing soup. Now, it is one pound, and I know a lot of people say, oh my god, a pound? You know what? Look at what you got, and then add in how much water it wants on top of the weight, and if you have to pack in the water to cook the food, a lot of these things can be up to a pound, maybe even more. So while this sounds like it's heavy, it's really not. And it's super delicious, really good food. So I highly recommend the um, True Primal stuff. 
Again, we have the small ingredients list as well. Just all natural, good stuff. No, no this, no that. Awesome. And they make two different kinds. My favorite here was the grass-fed um, beef soup. And then they also make a beef and mushroom, which to be real honest, eh, I didn't really like this one too much. So, but that guy right there, that was a huge win for me and about three other people. Highly recommended. Um, Trailtopia, another cool one. These guys I also like because they made some really big pouches. Look at the size of this thing, man. Like, it's enormous. And uh, so that serves two cool uh, flavors, beef stew, jambalaya. And um, these were also pretty affordable. I like the Trailtopias. Trailtopia had also some of the best breakfasts that I saw. You like oatmeal? Man, they got all kinds of different flavors of oatmeal, blueberry, banana. Look at that. Apple, cinnamon. Um, and look at the ingredients list. That's not bad at all. That's fantastic. That's amazing. What? No cholesterol? Cool. What do we got on sugar? 12 grams of sugar? That's not bad. So, again, really like the Trailtopia meals. The other good one that we've got here is these oat meals and uh, vegetable beef stew, Southwest chicken style with rice. Um, really good stuff. And the funny thing about these things is when you open them up, they come with like a heating element that you put inside of the packet and it heats it up for you and then it like blows steam out of this like vent here. The only problem is, is these things are really heavy because it includes a he heating element. So uh, these are more for like hikes, day trips, stuff like that. I definitely wouldn't take them backpacking, but they're delicious. They're delicious and I, I like them and they're fun. Um, this would be something to f for kids. Like you really want to have, you know, have some fun with, with some kids. They're going to love seeing this thing cook in there and seeing the steam come out of it. So really interactive cooking there. Uh, another new brand that, you know, to tell you the truth, this is good food, but it doesn't match up with my tastes. I'm, I'm, I'm a, you know, a, a steak and potatoes guy, and I'm trying to be more than a steak and potatoes guy, but this stuff, if you like different exotic tastes, Food for the Soul was another good one, but again, it was maybe a little bit too exotic for me, a little bit too different. Um, when I'm out backpacking, I want things that are kind of familiar. I don't want to be like, oh, this is just totally weird. Um, and that's kind of what was happening with me. It's good stuff that I know other people liked, but the, the flavors were just a little too exotic for this guy. Um, you got Mountain House, but at this point, you know, there's so much stuff out here that's better. And I would probably pick, absolutely pick Peak Refuel over Mountain House. So... Um, it's good stuff. It's time tested, but again, um, I think there's other things out there. Um, one of the things that I've been waiting to mention here, I don't know why I've mentioned this last, it certainly isn't the worst, not even close, is Harmony House Foods. Now, this was the most, arguably the most healthy and also the biggest value. One of these um, containers was somewhere like around $60 and, you know, comes with quite a bit of meals. You can see each one has a whole bunch of different meals that it comes with. And what's really cool about these is they let you kind of customize them a little bit. They've got these different seasonings. You get like the tomato uh, plus seasoning, chili boost seasoning, chicken-ish seasoning. Then there's the beefish, of course. And when you open these bad boys up, they're really small. And at first I was like, oh no. So if you're a big giant dude, I don't think this is going to work for you. And by big giant dude, I definitely do not mean overweight. But if you need a big, huge, hearty meal... Um, I don't think 2.5 ounces of corn is really going to be filling you up. Now, for me, I'm not a huge big eater. I'm only about buck 45, and um, these are going to be perfect for me. Look at the ingredients. I, I, I think these are definitely going to be the, not arguably the most healthy. I believe that these are going to be the most healthy. So these are a little bit more detailed. They take a little bit of simmering was the only issue that I came up when I did like a test cook with these. You just need to simmer these for, for example, let's say this one says it wants to simmer for 10 to 15 minutes or soak till soft. Um, I have not tried dry soaking these yet, but I have heard that they dry soak really well. So as you're hiking before you get to camp, put some water in it, let it soak. And then once you get to camp, you start boiling it and it should be ready to go. But they have a whole bunch of different um, flavors in here like mixed bean chili mix we got different kinds of chowders um, some of them are just way different in weight too like this is four ounces here but they seem to all call for about the same um, amount of water so this is going to be the meal for somebody that is looking for the most healthy the probably the most affordable as well because you're going to buy these in bulk 
and also something that's not huge. Um, a lot of these meals, some of them are just too big for me. Um, honestly, some like the backpackers pantry stuff that I, I had a hard time finishing some of those. I like this big, huge biscuits and gravy right here. I don't, I, I there's no way I'd be able to finish all that food. I just don't get that hungry. So if you really want some good, healthy stuff and you don't necessarily need to, to do these huge, gigantic meals, I really like the Harmony House stuff. And they have also like the backpacking kit is di kind of different. It comes with like, individual things that you can make your own mixes with. So you could just take any of these different things, combine them together in your pot, add whatever seasoning you want and gets like a super awesome meal. And then we have another one here where it's got just more pre-made soups, chickenish soup, Mama Mia, Mia Italian vegetable, un unbelievable black bean chili, Southwest style Mexican bean, Vegelicious chili, creamy good corn chowder, hearty Texas beef-ish stew, Greek lentil soup with quinoa, super savory split pea soup, Catherine John's navy bean soup, great northern bean stew, beefish quinoa soup with mushrooms. So, again, some of these are pre-set meals like these that you just add a little bit of the powders uh, seasoning to. Here's like the other one, the chili. Uh, chickenish soup, black bean chili mix, mixed bean chili mix, Italian vegetable soup, corn chowder mix, vegetable chili mix, beef stew mix, split pea soup mix, lentil soup mix, navy bean soup mix. Really just the best value, in, in my opinion. These these came out to be, I can't remember how much it was, but they were a lot less than these guys when you counted up uh, per meal. They also had uh, won the award winner in 2007's um, Editor's Choice for Backpackers Magazine. I uh, really like the Harmony House food, so you're going to be seeing me taking those on this uh, upcoming two-week trip. And then um, a host of different meals here. So hope this was kind of helpful for you guys on the meals. Let's go ahead and talk about some of the snacks that I like. Well, if you go on Amazon and you look for some backpacking food, you're going to see a whole bunch of brands of protein bars, beef jerkies that you've probably never had. Uh, and with COVID, a lot of people are going online and ordering their snacks. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the things that I really liked that you might not be seeing at your normal store. Uh, right out the gate, bars. Man, these Tahoe bars and Kate's Real Food, I had a hard time deciding which one of these I liked best. Kate's, though, tasted like something your mom would bake you right out of home. Buttery, smooth, delicious. These were so much better than they had any right to be. And Tahoe Trail Bar was really close to them. Like, if those were a 10 out of 10, these were a 9 out of 10. Um, there was no close third place. These things are absolutely amazing. Uh, the Tahoe Trail Bar also has a whole bunch of different awesome flavors. Really like those. Another huge win was the Fruise Balls. Now, these are plant-based protein balls. But people that don't like health food really ended up liking these. A lot of different flavors to choose from. And, uh, yeah, big, huge win for me. Another thing I really like was these trail nuggets. Now these are really filling and pretty heavy. This little guy here is 2.1 ounces. Um, but again, this is something that like this and maybe another snack and I might be good to go for like lunch. I don't have to eat a huge lunch. Really like those. But those are definitely more on the healthy health food taste compared to the Kate's or the Tahoe Trail Bar. Um, another bar that I really liked, it's a protein bar that... Um, just awesome taste was these Fit Joys. Uh, the cookies and cream is probably going to be my favorite. Um, the lemon square is also really good. Te technically, I love all three of them, but these are the protein bars that I think have just a little bit more extra taste to them. You're not going to be miserable eating those. So really liked Fit Joy stuff. Uh, Stoka bar, that wasn't bad at all. Again, kind of another protein bar. You're going to see a trend uh, with me buying protein bars. Another thing I really liked was uh, fruit snacks. These Nature's Bandits were a huge win, like organic fruit snacks. Uh, the mixed berry was so good. Blueberry was amazing. Mango, apple. Um, these were, again, a huge, huge win for me. I really like those. Um, jerkies and stuff like that. One of the best tasting jerkies I've ever had in my life is the Sierra Madre Provisions Jerky. Now, I've had about five, six different flavors of that, theirs, and I can tell you this is hands down one of the best jerkies you're ever going to put in your mouth ever. Now, this is a what I'm going to call a flavored jerky. So as you're eating this, it, it doesn't chew a whole long time in your mouth. So if you want to like pack that meat in your corner and kind of chew on it for a while, this isn't going to do that. But this is going to be one of those ones that it's just the most best delicious taste. Um, wonderful, wonderful stuff. Now, if you want 
a jerky that's going to be chewy and something you can pack in the side of your mouth and hang on to for a bit. Paps Beef Jerky. Now, I know you've seen my videos have been sponsored by them, but I don't, I would never have anybody sponsor any of my videos that I didn't endorse their products. And Paps actually was one of my number one jerkies that I had tried this last year. It was one of the only jerkies that I was able to chew up like I said, pack it into the corner of my mouth. So this isn't one of those ones that's like soaking thick with, you know, teriyaki dripping off it and stuff. But it's just got that delicious smoke taste. The The barbecue one here is like pretty hot. I don't know why they call it barbecue. It's actually pretty hot. So if you really want something that's nice and spicy, go ahead and with the barbecue. And you can't miss with this uh, Blazing Cajun. So again, really, these are a huge win. I wouldn't lie to you guys. You know I tell the truth in my videos. Uh, another one I really liked was Fat Man's Beef Jerky. It was another one of my sponsors, but I want to point this out that this guy sent me a bunch of jerky and he said, I just want to make sure you like it. Don't do a review unless you like it. That's pretty amazing. So that guy was really cool. 100% American beef and a lot of different flavors. Look at that carne asada, butter, garlic, teriyaki. There's a green chili, honey barbecue, mesquite. Um, and this is a scratch in the surface. Smoky chipotle. He just went crazy. It has all these different flavors. Salt and pepper. What's that? Cajun. Really like the Fat Man's beef jerky. To me, that was also one of the ones that was like chewy. I like a, a jerky that lasts a long time in my mouth. Ooh, Neo Bar. I did like these. These tasted like a uh, Kit Kat, but on health mode. So, definitely good. Uh, another one of the jerkies that I really liked was this Cedar Creek. You guys remember old school uh, Oberto before they changed the recipe? That's what it is. I don't know if I need to say any more. Jerky chews. Jerky chews were also really good and reminded me kind of of the old school um, uh, jerkies that Alberto put out. Now, these are definitely chewy. They don't process it. There's not a lot of junk or preservatives or anything. It's just chewy, delicious beef. And when I say, they say chew, I don't want to say it's chewy. It's just, it's like that old school jerky where you can kind of pack it in your mouth and, and keep it there a little bit. So really like those. If you notice, I like the jerkies that are a little bit drier. Now that being said, Sierra Madre still probably, I think, has the, probably the best taste. Now sponsors don't like hearing that stuff. And my sponsors did agree to be seen with other jerky brands. So that's really cool. All these guys were open to sharing and stuff. And then there's some brands that didn't want to be shared. There's some brands that were really delicious, but they didn't want to be seen with other jerkies and stuff. And, you know, nobody just buys one kind of beef jerky. That's not how reality works. Like, oh, I just buy one thing. So I want to show you guys everything and tell you what's the best. Is this three jerks good? It's really good. Yeah. But I just wanted to also point out that Sierra Madre, uh, Fat Man's Beef Jerky, and Paps had no problem being seen on camera together. So that was really cool. Again, um, Sierra Madre, just delicious stuff. You guys, you guys will love it. We'll love it. So another thing I really like was these trail truffles, another plant-based protein. Uh, I had one that was like cookies and cream or um, chocolate chip mint, co uh, coconut macadamia. So really good. They do have that protein kind of taste though. So if you're against that, that might not be the best choice for you. Another one of the better tasting jerkies that I've had that wasn't one of the kinds that will chew up in your mouth and last a long time, but just tasted amazing was this House of Jerky. And they've got a lot of different styles and they also have like some exotic meats that they sell. Uh, what do we got here? Skinny Jimmy's, more protein bars. Um, some of these had caffeine in them, which kind of I thought was cool. They were like high in calories, little tiny. Well, that's high in calories to me if it's just a little tiny thing. But really cool little, yeah, there it is. See what it is, Wake and Focus. Cookies and cream, caffeine, caffeine, grania, Omega-3s, MCT oils. I don't even know what the fucking MCT oil is, but it's in there. It's going to make you probably feel fucking good. Uh, what do we got here? Um, I didn't like this. Sorry. Big Fork Brands. Everything that they made that I put in my mouth gave me like sulfur burps, and it tasted like sulfur. So, God, I want to say that it was so good, and it was. I loved it, but I didn't. Another thing that I really like was the Fire Creek Snack Sticks. They have the Kicker and Original Flavors. Um, just delicious snack sticks. Uh, protein bars from Scout. Now, these are really nice. Um, these were the kids' ones, variety of different flavors, peanut butter, apple. Now, I don't have any kids, but um, I got sent these, and yeah, I definitely liked them. They were good. Tasted like a protein bar, though, so 
keep that in mind. Another huge win here was going to be Chalk Zero. Um, I first when I got this, I thought it would mean sugar free. Don't let that freak you out. Chocolate is actually often sugar free. You'd be surprised. This stuff tastes amazing. Oh my god, probably one of my most favorite things. It just tastes like that expensive chocolate that you get at the store. And just oh god, just nothing better than this. And then their um their almond stuff. Oh boy. Man, that was good. And they come in these little little pouches here. Not packet. Love this. Love this. So if you treat yourself to some delicious chocolate. Another huge win for me was this company that I'd never heard of, Back Attack Snacks. And they sent us about um, these, these nuts here and a couple other nuts that I tried. And oh my god, if you like almonds, you're going to love these. If you like smoked almonds and different kinds of flavors and uh, so good. They also make some wonderful jerky as well. And that's Back Attack Snacks. All these you'll be able to see in the description below. What else have we got? Oh, a couple things back here. How could I miss this? Pro Bar. Actually, this was also one of my most favorite things here. Pro Bar. Um, they make these meals here. Now, look at the weight on that. Three ounces, banana nut bread, and you get some crazy calories on that. Look at 380 calories on that bad boy. Pretty sweet. I did like these, these meal bars. These were really fun. Um, fun, what I mean. Really good to take on hikes. Another thing I really like is these peanut butter blends. You probably have seen different packets like this. A lot of people maybe put them in their breakfast. They maybe just shoot them directly into their mouth. Um, but I really like the peanut butter blends. Uh, like we got like coconut, almond butter. What do we got right here? Another almond butter superfood with like, you know, fruits and stuff like that. So really like these and a nice way to spice up maybe some of your existing food. Add a little bit of extra calories. So really also like their Bolt Energy Chews. I, I've got, I'm a sucker for any type of gummies. These were really good. Um, different flavors, of course. Berry Blast. Strawberry. So yeah, I really like those. And the other thing that they got is these Energy Bites again. So just little tiny bars. It's kind of reminded me of the Trail Nuggets. And I like the bars. The Bites. So yeah. Pro Bar was definitely a huge win for me. Really like those. And another one that I like is the Performance Nut Butter. I've only had a few of these so far. But it's just a macadamia coconut cashew butter. Uh, some people, again, just you know directly into the mouth. Some people put this on some things that they take with them or toss it in their oatmeal. Ooh, another jerky that I wasn't necessarily a huge fan of. Just had that kind of synthetic taste to it. Uh, it tasted like the new Alberto jerky was this Lawless. Um, had a few different flavors from them and you know just couldn't get into it All right guys. Hope you enjoyed this video Hope I gave you some new ideas for different types of backpacking food and backpacking snacks If you liked it go ahead and leave me a thumbs up if you want to purchase any of these products You can do so down in the description below and that gives me a little bit of a kickback on my channel Help me get out there to make some more videos Appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this if you enjoyed this video share it on your social media Share it on the Twitters and Instagrams all that good stuff and I will see you very soon